Hey guys, PJ Design here once again. Today we're going to be looking at animation in Inventor and how to animate the cameras in Inventor so it looks a lot better than just a still frame. So you can go ahead, open up the file that we worked on last time, and go to Environments, Inventor Studio. So the first thing I want you guys to do is place your first camera. So this is going to this is going to be where your camera starts off in your animation. So this is a pretty important step. So I'm going to start it off right in the center, right here. And then it's going to want you to choose how far away you want to be. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. You can link to view and see what it looks like, zoom in or out, depending on what you guys want. So, okay, that looks good. So, if you hit okay, that'll place it right here. So I hit okay because it looked nice. We have in here, animate camera. That's what we want. We want to animate the camera. So click on that. It's going to bring up your timeline. And it's going to bring up this dialog box. So just go down here, select this button right here and that's going to open up your timeline for the animation in the cam for cameras right here you have the start of your animation yes zero seconds and when do we want this to stop so we're going to go halfway through and we're going to select a spot so this animation is going to be 10 seconds long so halfway through is going to be five seconds hit enter hit definition so it's going to move the wheel to where it's going to be at five seconds and then you want to move this camera to where you want it to be at five seconds. So I'm going to move this over right to here, lower it a little bit. Yeah, okay. So if you wanted to move this after, just click on it again and you can remove it if you want. And this camera, all you have to do is select it, then you have the then it gives you the option to move it. So I'm going to zoom in right here. Okay, that looks good. We're going to move this over a tiny bit to the center of this wheel. It'll look a bit better. Okay. And then I'm going to link to view, see what it looks like. So it's still a bit high up, so, so I'm going to unlink from that view, and I'm going to lower this, this little view right here. Okay, link to view again. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's going to bring a nice close-up view of what the wheel looks like. Okay, that's good. So, okay. In here, you have a few other options, like if you want it to be a curved path. You can also specify the times from where it goes. So I like to keep it from previous. It seems to work the best for me, because typically a video goes. It's a pretty linear video, so from previous works for me. Turntable, this is how much. this You can specify if you want your camera to rotate and all that stuff. And this, acceleration. So right now it's set, so it takes 20% of the time it's going to take to get up to full speed. 60% it's going to be at full speed. Then it's going to take 20% to deaccelerate. You can specify this velocity, so you can type in 30 here, whatever you want, depends on what you're doing. Or you can use constant speed and set it to 100 the whole time. So it's going constant speed. So I'm just going to use the default settings, that works. And then hit OK. And it's going to put this blue line in here. This is just what the camera's doing. So if you select this tab right here and hit camera 1, it's going to bring us to the view at camera 1. So you can take a look at what this looks like. So it zooms in right to the bottom. Yeah, and if you move this slider, it'll show you what is being animated. So that's good. That works. So now we want to put another camera definition at 10 seconds. Okay. So hit camera once again, and it's automatically going to have 5 seconds to 10 seconds. Duration of 5 seconds, of course. You can change these if you want. Acceleration once again. So I'm going to go to definition. So rotate around, take a look. And where do we want the camera to be at 10 seconds? So this is definitely going to have to go forward, and it's going to follow this wheel. I'm going to lift it up a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Now we want to place this camera somewhere else. So move it forward to about here, and then right over. So let's go to top view and see what that looks like. Okay, so that trap, or this right here looks to be in the wrong place. We're going to move it to the center of this wheel. Okay. I'm going to move this forward a little bit give the camera a bit more motion. There, that looks good. Link to view. Yeah, it's a bit too zoomed in, so you can zoom out just to there. That works. Roll degree. Zero. Good. Hit OK. And it's going to automatically populate this again. So you can double click on that section, and you can change where that final view is. So this seems to work. If you move this slider, you, you're going to follow this again. Those look like pretty good camera angles right now, so that's perfect. So you can go and close this and hit render animation. Oh, sorry, K okay, first. Before we do that, you can go to view and you can change a few of these options. You can turn on shadows. So these will make your video take a lot longer to, to process, but it makes them look a lot nicer too. So I'm just going to turn object shadows on and turn ground shadows off. 
and reflections you can turn your reflections on or off it depends what you want I'm just gonna keep them off because it loads a lot faster without them so you can see there's a shadow here and you can also change this from perspective to orthographic I keep it on perspective because it looks a lot nicer you can turn this ground plane on so this if you want to have the ground plane on you can always put a reflective ground plane if you want I'm not going to do that for this video you guys can play around with those settings but I find it looks the nicest like this and visual style you don't have to worry about that go back to render and then hit render animation so right here yours is going to be a current view you're going to want to select camera one and it's going to jump to your camera one you can change the lighting around whatever you want high contrast it all depends on what you want that doesn't look too nice i'm just going to keep it on current lighting you guys can play around with those settings right here the biggest i can go is 10 or 1280 by 960 that's what I'm going to have because I like to have it the biggest as possible. And stabilization, just the quality, frame rate, 30 frames per second is pretty good. And you want to have this set to 0 to 10 seconds. If you have it at 30 seconds, it's going to animate 20 seconds of nothing. So 10 seconds is good. Preview, no render, perfect. If you want to have a great quality, click select that. It'll render every single frame. Mine's just going to render a preview. Hit render. Yes, I want to place my last video that I made. So just hit OK. Change this to 1500 if you want and then hit OK and it's gonna render frame by frame what camera one is doing so I'm gonna let this load and show you the end result so that looks pretty good you're gonna to wanna to close this dialog box and then you can type in whatever you name that video okay so once you find your video double click on it open it up and you can see what that looks like so this looks pretty darn good I think so it looks pretty cool with all these shadows and everything and so that's how you make an, a pretty cool animation in Inventor by animating the cameras and animating the constraints at the same time alright so there's one more thing I want to show you before I end this video so go up here select camera you can go over here choose the face you want it to point at select the distance away sure that looks good and then hit OK then move your slider to 10 seconds. Select camera in the animate tab. Select camera 2. And then hit definition. So now you have the option to choose where the second camera is located at 10 seconds. So move that over. Sure, we're just going to have this one be a pretty simple, not as complex as the other one. So just move it over. You can have it zoom in maybe a bit. Move that a bit closer. Yeah, sure. Okay. Link to view. Just maybe check out what it looks like yeah that looks pretty cool hit OK then press OK here you can change those options if you want and then here you can select whether you want it to be camera 2 or camera 1 that you're looking through so then zoom back so this is what camera 2 will show and camera 1 will do what we had it do before so there that's how you animate cameras in Inventor and how you can make one and two cameras. You can also do this for multiple cameras like camera one, two, three, and four. It depends what you guys are doing and how complex you want to get. Thanks for watching.